Hello, my name is Dr. Dushan Sharma. I am clinical lead for diabetes and endocrine department here at Royal Liverpool University Hospital. People who are on steroids can suffer major clinical crisis during a period of illness and stress and that can be life-threatening if not managed properly. My team of endocrine specialist nurses, they've created a short video to help you with managing your steroid replacement therapy during illness. They will also show you how to prepare and administer your emergency hydrocortisone injection to be used in the event of an adrenal crisis. Let me introduce you to our team of endocrine specialist nurses, Kerry Grounds, who is our lead endocrine specialist nurse, Amanda Hamilton, Michelle Lewin, Karen Jones, who is not able to join us today. Thank you, and we hope you will find this short video helpful. The sick day rules are a set of rules you should follow if you become poorly to help prevent you experiencing an adrenal crisis. People with adrenal insufficiency are vulnerable to an adrenal crisis being triggered by seemingly minor ailments including vomiting, diarrhoea, colds and flu. It is important to recognise the early symptoms of illness and adjust your steroid replacement medication accordingly. The common causes or triggers of an adrenal crisis are shown on the graphic here. They include vomiting, diarrhoea, colds, flu, dehydration, stress such as a bereavement, an infection, post-surgical or dental issues, injury and migraine. In an emergency, people with adrenal insufficiency may experience extreme weakness and fatigue, headaches, lightheadedness or dizziness on sitting up or standing, nausea, vomiting, confusion, drowsiness or loss of consciousness and feeling very cold, uncontrollable shaking, limb or back pain. Any of these symptoms mean you require extra steroid medication immediately in the form of an emergency injection of hydrocortisone. We will demonstrate this in our pre-mixed and emergency injection videos. On days where you are feeling off colour and displaying any of the symptoms previously mentioned, injured or unwell, there are some important rules to keeping safe which will minimise the chances of an adrenal crisis. You should double your daily hydrocortisone or prednisolone dose if you get an infection with a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius or higher. If you get a bad cold or flu, diarrhoea or other infection that makes you feel poorly or weak. And if you break a bone or suffer from any similar significant injury causing severe stress or shock. You should keep your dose of steroids doubled for two days and then go back to your usual original dosage, providing that you are feeling better. If you don't feel better after 48 hours, keep your steroid dose doubled and seek advice from your GP or your endocrine specialist nurse or doctor. If you are prescribed antibiotics for an infection, double your hydrocortisone dose until you finish the course or feel completely back to normal. However, if you are prescribed long-term antibiotic therapy, please seek advice from ourselves. If you get a severe infection with a temperature above 40 degrees Celsius, then you may need to take three times your normal hydrocortisone dose and seek advice from your doctor immediately. It is important to note that if you increase your dose higher than 50 milligrams of hydrocortisone due to illness, you don't need to take your fludrocortisone at this time. This is because hydrocortisone has some mineral corticoid effect. However, be sure to restart your fludrocortisone once you are back on your usual dose of hydrocortisone. If you vomit back your medication within 30 minutes of taking it, take a double dose again immediately. If you vomit this second dose back, then inject yourself with 100 milligrams of hydrocortisone and seek medical advice immediately. If you carry on vomiting, you will become dehydrated. 
This will develop into an adrenal crisis unless you go to hospital for a saline drip. If you develop diarrhoea, you may need to double or even triple your steroid doses depending on your symptoms. If the symptoms persist for 48 hours or you develop signs or symptoms of an adrenal crisis, then inject yourself with 100 milligrams of hydrocortisone and seek medical advice immediately. Please remember that we are always here to help and advise and that every crisis is preventable. In this video, we will demonstrate how to make up and administer Solucortef or hydrocortisone sodium succinate, your emergency hydrocortisone injection. These are the things you are going to need. A vial of Solucortef, hydrocortisone sodium succinate powder, 100 milligrams. A vial of water for injection. A syringe, a blue or green needle, whichever you have been provided with. A sharps container or a suitable alternative, such as a drinks can or a glass jar with lid. Some clean tissues. Check the expiry date on both the water and the hydrocortisone vials. If they are out of date, it is still safe to use as it will still be beneficial. Now open the syringe packet followed by the needle packet. Attach the needle to the end of the syringe by pushing them firmly together. Next, break the cap on the water vial. Remove the cap from the hydrocortisone vial, then fill back the safety guard on the needle and remove the cover. Now place the needle into the vial of water and slowly draw up one to two mils of the water. Insert the needle into the centre of the rubber bung on the hydrocortisone vial and slowly depress the plunger until all the water is in the vial. Withdraw the needle from the vial and gently mix the solution allowing the powder to dissolve. When the liquid is clear it is ready for injection. Introduce the needle back into the bung and tip the vial upside down, pulling back on the syringe plunger to draw up all of the liquid. Then withdraw the needle. Now hold up the syringe and check for air bubbles, gently flicking the syringe to disperse any air bubbles. You can expel the air from the end of the syringe by slowly depressing the plunger until a drop of liquid appears at the tip of the needle. You are now ready to inject. We advise giving the injection into the middle third of your upper or outer thigh. If you are unable to expose the skin, it is okay to inject through your clothing in an emergency situation. Hold the syringe like a dart over the injection site and insert the needle firmly and quickly at an angle of 90 degrees. Depress the plunger steadily until the syringe is empty. Withdraw the needle after a count of 10 and dispose into the sharps container or the drinks can or glass jar. Finally, apply a clean tissue to the injection site and apply gentle pressure for a minute or two. You should now seek medical help by calling 999 stating adrenal crisis. If you need to use your injection, contact your GP for a new prescription when it is practically possible. You can also contact your specialist nurses for a replacement needle and syringe. In this video, we will demonstrate how to make up and administer F-cortisol hydrocortisone sodium phosphate, the pre-mixed emergency hydrocortisone injection. These are the things you will need. A glass vial of F-cortisol, also called hydrocortisone sodium phosphate liquid, 100 milligrams. A syringe, a blue or green needle, whichever you have been provided with. A sharps container or a suitable alternative, such as a drinks can or a glass jar with a lid and clean tissues. First, check the expiry date on the hydrocortisone vial. If it is out of date, it is still safe to use as it will still be beneficial. 
Next, open the syringe packet followed by the needle packet. Now attach the needle to the end of the syringe by pushing them firmly together. Make sure all the liquid is in the bottom part of the vial by gently flicking the top of the glass vial. Break the top off the glass vial by making sure the coloured dot is facing upwards and then snap the top off. Now fold back the safety guard on the needle and remove the cover. Place the needle into the vial of F cortisol and slowly draw up all of the liquid into the syringe by pulling back on the syringe plunger to draw up all of the liquid, then withdraw the needle. Hold up the syringe and check for air bubbles, gently flicking the syringe to disperse any air bubbles. You can expel the air from the end of the syringe by slowly depressing the plunger until a drop of liquid appears at the tip of the needle. You are now ready to inject. We advise giving the injection into the middle third of your upper or outer thigh. If you are unable to expose the skin, it is okay to inject through your clothing in an emergency situation. Hold the syringe like a dart over injection site and insert needle firmly and quickly at an angle of 90 degrees. Depress plunger steadily until syringe is empty. Withdraw the needle after a count of 10 and dispose into sharps container or your jar or can. Finally, apply clean tissue to the injection site and apply gentle pressure for a minute or two. You should now seek medical help by calling 999 stating adrenal crisis. If you need to use your injection, contact your GP for a new prescription when it is practically possible. You can also contact your specialist nurses for a replacement needle and syringe.